Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Y Egglock. This is episode 24 and in the previous episode we went ahead and we um, took on Valerie in the fairy type gym and thankfully we were victorious uh, thanks to Maroons and Meridia and Kevin. Happy, happy, happy days. So we're uh, in Lever City right now but the first job we have to do is we have an egg to hatch. So if we go ahead and look inside the... Oh, mouse. Sorry. My bad. Uh, so if we go ahead and have a look inside the PC, you can see that I have this Skorupi who we caught on the way to... Oh, excuse me, I'm just grabbing my phone so I can randomly generate a number. Yeah, we caught this guy on the way to Leversity, so we are going to need to generate a random number between 1 and 155. So just... Uh, Hold the phone, <laughs> literally. One, five, five, generate. 72 is the number that's coming up. So let's go ahead and see which Pokemon that is. So let's grab Scruppy and let's find 72. Three, six, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. There we go, brilliant. Okay, so I am gonna go grab that egg. I'm gonna grab my sli sh slimy sugar slug, well, too many S's. <laughs> my shiny slugma, and we're gonna get this egg hatched right, right now. So guys, I will see you in a few seconds, hopefully with a new hatch. Okay guys, so I'm back and this egg is about to hatch and it's raining, obviously, because I tell you what, it's been raining constantly all day today as well. In my real life. So let's go ahead and see what this egg is. Come on. Ooh, he's super cute. Little Teddy Ursa. Oh, he's adorable. Yeah, I'd love to give little Teddy Ursa a nice little nickname. Oh, and it's a little girl. What do we call a little girl bear? A little girl bear. Um, oh, I'm trying to think if there are any famous little girl bears, but I can't even think of it. Paddington, Rupert, Super Ted. Although, to be fair, Super Ted was a boy, but that would be a pretty cool nickname for my Teddy Ursa, Super Ted. So we're going to go ahead and call it Super Ted. Super Ted. Why am I doing it with the keyboard? Because I can't find my stylus and it's not behind my ear like it normally is. So I have my headphones on right now. Super Caps Ted. Super Ted. Okay, cool beans. So we have a little Super Ted right there. I'll go ahead and have a little look, see what uh, Super Ted is rocking. <laughs> cute. Super said so totally cute. Uh, oh, no, do you know what? Super Ted is super. Look at him. Chilling out there with play rough, crunch, cross chop and close combat. See, Super Ted lures you into a false sense of security with her cuteness. And then, bam. So we've got... What have we got? Adamant Nature as well, which is nice. Boosting the attack there of Super Ted. And Quick Feet too. So boosting the speed if we've got a status con condition. That's not bad. Does that stay when he evolves into an Ursa Ring? I'm not sure. But that's, that's quite kind of cool, that is. Um, but for now, we're going to pop Super Ted into the, uh, into the PC. She can chill out in there. Um, I'd be quite tempted to just uh, give her a little whirl, though, at some point. Um, she seems pretty cool. I uh, can't quite remember who, where this came from, but because uh, my list is knocking about somewhere where I can't quite see it. Three, six. Who's in box two? Dr. Wonder Trades, possibly. Dr. Wonder Trades, you want to give me a shout if this is uh, your Teddy Ursa right here? I think it could be. I think it could be. Anyway, we're going to go grab, go ahead and grab Cosmo because we have got a job to do. We have got to get into uh, 
the Team Rocket. Well, we're, we're going to go... Team Rocket? What the heck am I talking about? Uh, Team Rocket. Uh, all right, we're gonna, we've got to go visit the Pokeball Factory. Oh, I need to just check how much... Um, how much potiony business we've got going on. Hyper Potions, 14. Full Heals, 10. Full Resource, 10. We are good to go. I am going to go ahead and stick Cosmo right at the front of the party as well because Cosmo is a little underleveled because he couldn't join us in the fairy type gym because he would have got wrecked completely. Cosmo, I mean, we could put a, we could put um, poison jab on him, but he's like quad. Oh no, I don't want to go in there. Don't want to go in there. <laughs> yep. See ya. <laughs> yeah, he's quad weak to fairies so right so you may have seen that um i i missed the i missed the shauna and um trev's giving me a shout it's because i had a few jobs to do in between episodes um one of which is a slightly super secret job that hopefully you're going to find out about in a week or so but you have to just keep keep your eyes posted on the air glock to find out about it but anyway let's go ahead and chat to shauna and trev's and find out what they're doing why they're hanging around outside the pokeball factory is in you'll see i'll go talk to him again they want to go for the uh, factory tour obviously to see how pokeballs get made sean now wait he's off to help her obviously there's something going on caleb and tiano are, are catching us up uh did shawnee and trev's go running off just now what's the deal uh we were supposed to meet here did something happen yeah Shawnee, wait! Stop! Uh, uh, what is going on? Well, well, I guess I'll go help them. Really, Tiana, are you actually going to go and help them? You don't do fighting. Team Flare? There might be something going on inside. Let's check it out while the guard's gone. Let's check it out while the guard's gone. Are you actually going to follow me? Oh, wait, no, you're not. You're going to let me do it on my own. Oh, no, I don't want to go inside yet because... There are some bits and pieces out here that um, we can collect. First of all, is there something down the side here? Pshhh. Yes, there is. A dusk wall. So that, that come in handy when we are capturing things in caves or if it is night time. Um, there are a few hidden items and a few um, obvious items as well. I'm not going to worry too much about the hidden items because I don't want to spend ages running about trying to find them. Uh, but I think there's an actual legitimate item. No, is there not? Yes, there is. Yeah, there is a Max Ether, which uh, will come in handy, I guess. Maybe during the Elite Four stuff, if we get that far. I'm fairly convinced we're going to get that far. Because, you know, we've got pretty decent Pokemon. And uh, even if I'm the worst Pokemon trainer in the world, <laughs> I think we should still hopefully make it to the Elite Four. Whether we'll take, well, whether we'll take the Elite Four down is a completely different matter. But, you know, we'll try. Do I... Can I be bothered to try and locate this final item? No, probably not. Oh, that was easy enough. Cool beans, and there's another little maze on the other side, so we'll head over there too, pick up some items, and then head into the Pokemon factory to find out what the heck's going on. What the heck is going on? We've got uh, Team Flare, it seems like, uh, up to no good in the old Pokeball factory. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's going down. So, how are you guys today? I hope you're well. I'm not too bad. <sighs> Just get trying to get um, trying to get some a lot of egglock recorded. I do realise I'm falling behind a little bit on my my planned upload schedule of sort of one episode a day. Unfortunately, due to the time of year, I am slammed at work right now, and also. I'm just so I'm just totally tired all the time because I just have to put in. Hey up. I have a message on my phone. Um, I have to just put in a lot of hours and a lot of work at the moment. And also I've been working for this is like the seventh week at work. So it does just mean that I am a bit tired. Well, hopefully, you know, we've got about a week left. Then I'm on holiday, so that'll be all good. So we've got Team Flare right here. Can't that idiot outside even handle guard duty? It would seem not, sorry. So sorry, but we're not offering tours right now. I don't want to talk, I just want to find out what's going on. So, you know, Caleb sends me out first. That red suit means you're a member of Team Flare, right? 
Did you have to take part a part-time job at the Pokeball factory to pay for it? For that ugly suit? What? How dare you mock Team Flair? Mightyena, get them. Ha, <laughs> leave this to me. You go ahead. Okay, I'll go ahead. That's a shame because I've got um, Cosmo. He would have he would have quite happily wrecked the old uh, Mightyena. I'm a nameless Team Flair grunt. I've yet to make a name for myself. Oh, how funny. How funny. Better turn this phone off before... It interrupts me any not for the phone off, but onto silent, so it doesn't interrupt me anymore. Cool beans. There we go. And Team Flag Runt is sending out a toxic croak. Fighting poison. Toxic croak. Fighting poison. I guess Cosmo's not got a lot going on here. Fighting poison. But my good friend Racecar will have all the things going on. And Racecar knows Psychic now, so hopefully, you know, Psychic to the face. Oh no. I have bad memories about Swagger. I mean, what do I do? Try it anyway. Come on. Come on, race car, pull through, pull through. Don't. Oh, I hate this game. Right, we'll try once more. Come on, psychic, come on, psychic. Do it, do it. No, oh, I hate this game so much. Oh. It's got Venishock, so Kevin's not going to be any good. <laughs> ah, let's try May Runes and make sure... I just hope he doesn't go for the Swagger again. Oh, stupid Swagger. I need to get... Oh, Mud Bomb. Oh, that was a mistake. He eats it up, though. He eats it up because he's the Daedric Lord of, of Oblivion. Go on, send that Toxic Croak to Oblivion. Done. Done and dusted. So now I guess that we've got psychic moves on my runes. Uh, race car might become a little bit redundant. Not redundant. I would never say that race car was redundant. But if we're making an, an efficient team, then that's two Pokemon with the same moves. It does offer us the opportunity up to... Um... <gasps> Cosmo's evolving! Cosmo's evolving! Can he evolve? He's got Drain Punch. Yeah, he's got good moves, hasn't he? He's got good moves. Crunch, Drain Punch, Dragon Dance, and something I can't remember. <sighs> Check out. Check out that Scrafty right there. God, oh, Cosmo, you look like you look like you've got the swag right there. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Oh, that's cool. So that's that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and do a little bit of healing up. Oh, and Max Revive, how how excellent. Uh, okay, so, yeah, so that, there's a possibility that this slot opens up or one of these slots opens up. Maybe bring Sticks back in um, in another playthrough. I guess we'll have to just play it by ear. I figured that um, Race Car would probably be quite good for this, uh, for this particular location given the typing of a lot of the Pokemon that we're probably going to be facing. So we're going to hit the conveyor belt, fight a load of Team Flare Grunts right now. When I beat you, tears will fall from your eyes like Pokeballs rolling down a conveyor. Ah, oh, nice simile there. Uh, give you a B for efforts, but it doesn't matter because my Tina is going to go down to a powerful drain punch from Cosmo. Oh yes, welcome to the world of Pokemon Battles, Cosmo, the Scrafty. Oh, we've got Thunder Punch on him. Yeah, that's not bad. I think we've got a good set of moves there. So we're going to Drain Punch this mighty Ina. Um, no, see you later. That is super effective. That is super effective. And Cosmo's Moxie gets him on the roll too, which is nice. Uh, we've got a Golbat, so you know what? We're going to keep put the... Um, I know Golbat's probably got some kind of wing attack, but hopefully we can outspeed and Thunder Punch with the Moxie. 
And oh no, he's got Swift, but that's okay. Swift is not 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 a move that we're going to be scared by. Whoop. That was a crit as well. He ate it up right there. There you go. Look, Moxie boosted, and we're on the roll. <laughs> oh, I love it when Cosmo gets on a Moxie roll. It's amazing. Oh oh, now now Team Flare Grunt, can you just um can you just explain to me who's crying now? Yeah, it's you, not me, because we are awesome. Right, I have to just do my OCD thing right now. Well, I have to put them in the right order. <sighs> yep, yep, yep. That's the thing, that's the thing. Okay, let's go. Who else have we got to fight? I want to fight everyone. Fight all the trainers. And uh, there's the quick ball. That's cool. What I don't really understand is, where are all the Pokeballs? Surely there should be Pokeballs around. You know, it's the Pokeball Factory. And we're going to go ahead and follow the conveyor belt round. Find another weird Team Flare dude to fight. Hi. Fight me. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. That's Brandon. And we've got a female Team Flare grunt. Oh, got a Scraggy, have you? Scraggy. Well, go on, Cosmo. You're the big brother. Um, but I have got a scraggy killing machine right here. It's my scraggy killing machine. It's Kevin. Kevin's a boss. Uh, that's cool. Oh, you can go for the high jump kick all you like. Look at that. It just bounces off Kevin's cute pink ears. And now Kevin is going to introduce you to the moon blast. And you're not going to live it. Bam! There you go. Super effective. Scraggy fainted. Happy days. Oh, we're gonna tear. We're gonna tear up through the. Uh... Oh, <laughs> let's switch back. Uh, tag. Oh no, not. <laughs> Whoops. Tag. You're it. <laughs> Kevin and Cosmo, the latest tag team in the WEF Wrestling Federation. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't watch wrestling. I don't think I've ever watched wrestling. No, I tell a lie. I did watch. I, I I did watch wrestling a long, long time ago for like a week because there were people, there were people I knew that were talking about it, and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll give it a whirl to see what it was like. And all I all I got from watching it was the f the feeling that I was watching a soap opera, which was quite funny, but I couldn't sustain watching it. And, uh, anyway, I know enough to know that they're a tag team. So there's Cos Cosmo and Kevin, the tag team, my tag team. To defeat Team Flare Grunt. Oh, Hard to be happy when you lose. True. True. But I don't know that feeling. <laughs> because I'm a winner. I am a winner. Okay, let's go. We're all still good, aren't we? We're all still good. Cosmo's good. Let's go ahead and put Kevin up front. Because Kevin's on 40. So we are levelling up even Stevens. Let's go. Shh. Honestly, though, if this was real life, I'd be dead scared riding in conveyor belt. And obviously, and honestly, I don't think it's necessarily very safe, you know, health and safety wise, to be just jumping on top of a conveyor belt in a factory. Because, you know, guaranteed, if you did that in real life, you know, you'd get squashed by something or chopped up by something if you landed, actually landed on a conveyor belt. Yes, I think about these things far too much. <laughs> it's just a game, Beck. It's just a video game. Okay, so down here is where we flip the switch. I'm just going to go ahead and um, hit, get in here, talk to the guys. One of them will heal up my Pokemon. So we're just, not that we particularly need it, but for the PP. Pee -pee. Do any of them give me anything? If the Pokeballs are stolen by Team Flare, how will we confront the Pokemon? Oh, yeah, no. Beat Team Flare, do it. Yeah, I'm going to change the direction. Anything in the bin? No. That's not a thing anymore, is it? Things being in a bin. Well, I did, I'm sure. Is there somebody in this game who says that he's the guy that cleans the bins? Or did I just imagine that? There's a game, isn't there, where you can talk to somebody and they say that they're the ones that clean the bins. Ball ball! Pokeball! Ball ball! Ultra ball! Yes. Very odd. Okay, so we've got... Oh, we've got a Swallot. So this is a dangerous... This is a dangerous matchup for Kevin because Swallot's going to totally have... 
some kind of um, poison type attack and that is like the fairy's Achilles heel so let's see what race car can do because you know psychic is the thing my ear is itchy ah oh, come on race car do you know what we're oh, encore <laughs> it's gonna have to keep popping into the uh into the battle i think do you know what honestly i think that race car could do with another evolution either just a just a normal evolution or oh you've gone for the toxic of course you have toxic venom shock is that what you're gonna go for you you annoying pokemon now i do think that uh giraffe rig could definitely benefit from some other kind of evolution i always feel i always feel that you know pokemon that have got one ever just one no other evolutions just one just one form i guess suffer a little bit because you know most pokemon gain in power as they evolve so you know mega giraffe rig maybe or just an additional um evolution would be it would be pretty cool it's not a pokemon that i've ever really used before at all even looked at before um we need to get this toxic healed and i may as well just spam the healer in here instead of using my potions save those for for a time when i haven't got a healer nearby um yeah i mean i think you know what i think that game freak and nintendo are a kind of not forgetting about evolutions, but I think that nowadays it seems that they're a little reluctant to add in additional evolutions. I think that they're a little bit more interested in, well, if we're going to make a Pokemon evolve, we're going to give them a Mega. Which, you know, I think is a bit of a shame, really. Is it this way? Do I go this way? Do I not? Oh, what am I doing? What the heck am I doing? Did they it was just back that way? Yeah. Yeah, and I've already fought that dude, so up there. I kind of feel like um if they were ever to do something with Giraffe Rig, it would be like a baby evolution, maybe. You know, like they did with like Mr. I hate Mr. My Mime. And um Magmortar and uh, um, Electabuzz and stuff like that maybe make a mini a mini re race car but that that I don't think that would be really I wouldn't want to see that anyway we're gonna go in there and there's gonna be some admins so we need to think about this no we don't I'm not gonna think about it I'm just gonna do it I'm just just do it Beck just do it we seem to be okay levels wise at the moment um, uh, all the work that I put in at the Battle Chateau seems to be paying off right now. I can always fly back there if I need to sometime, but it just means when I've got... Oh, why am I not talking? Why am I not commentating? Oh, you can read this. There's no one we can use here. Let's blow this place to smithereens. I don't think you're going to. Well, what do we have here, an intruder? Uh, you're one to talk. You, please help me. Oh, my, oh, my. Getting a little desperate, are we, Mr. Company President? I guess I'll just have to extinguish your little glimmer of hope. Evil Team Flare. Admin. Come on then, let's do this. You've got a Scraggy, well I've got a Kevin. So you know, there's only one way this battle's going down. It's going... It's going this way. <laughs> it's going this way. I can't even remember what I was talking about now before I realised that I ought to be really doing the dialogue. I'm just going to do it. Oh yeah, it's, uh, Battle Chateau paid off for me quite well. Um, so I can always go back there and do some extra training. But, that's right, I remember what I was saying now. But it just, uh, it's, it's sort of slightly annoying because um, it means that I can't record as quickly. So like training takes ages and I don't have that much time. We have got Houndoom, so that is Dark Fire. Mm, I mean, I guess we could go for Nipper. But Kevin needs the XP, so let's stick in with Kevin. Come on, Kev. I used to get Houndoom and Mighty, In Mighty Anna, Mighty Ina mixed up all the time. Because they're sort of... I know they don't look the same. Um, because they're both sort of dark looking. Oh, come on, Kevin. Let's do this. Let's just get this. Let's just sweep this girl out of the way. 
sweep this girl out of the way, save the president, blah blah blah, the end. News faint attack, not bad, not bad. You're, you're trying, you're at least trying. But I'm afraid to tell you that Kevin is just like an absolute beast. You know, you're gonna need you're gonna need to get up early if you're gonna beat Kevin, especially if you're not super effective against him. And because I'm an awesome trainer, that's probably never gonna happen. Yes, fist pump, fist punch. Oh, getting a bit stiff. Oh, we've got 23 minutes already. Good grief. Well, no, that's 23 minutes from this section anyway. You didn't have to go all out for him. For, for what? You didn't have to go out all out for a pitiful president like him. So lame. That's just embarrassing for an admin. Still, no worries. We're on it. This pair of scientists will clean up after you. Let's take her on. Two versus one. We must improve our chances of winning. Well, back off, because I've got my best friend, my next door neighbour, Caelan, right here. I can't let you do that. Sorry to have kept you waiting. There's another one. One kid or two, it doesn't make a lot of difference. When we're the ones fighting together, our odds of victory increase exponentially. And I think your math is off, and I thought you were supposed to be scientists. Burn. Caelan is so sarcastic. Are you, are you ready to fight alongside me, neighbour? Yes, of course I am. I was born ready. Let's get him. So we have our double battle with our neighborino. So he's got his meow stick. He's going to send it out regardless of the fact that he knows that these guys are going to send out things that, um, yeah, Leopard, Leopard, Leopard is going to um, target meow stick, I'd imagine. Um, but you know what? I'm just going to go for a moon blast on that leapard. Hopefully, I'm faster. Help out. Help out Meow Stick. Oh, well done. You faked out my neck trick as well. That's cool. Ah, good. Leapard is going. Leapard. 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 Like leopard. Is going to go for the taunt, which is good because that gives me the opportunity to take him out. See, I think that should be Leopard because L-I-E is lie in English, but I think it's supposed to be Leopard, like leopard. Ah, Pokemon, Pokemon, why you, why you troll me with names I can't say? Anyway, we're gonna take out this Minectric. Please, he's gonna go for the Meow Stick, but Meow Stick took that. But it's okay. Don't worry about it, Meow Stick, because I've got this Moonblast, and I've got your back. I've got your back. Moon blast. Let's go for another clean moon blast. The sun, thunder, thunder, fang, oh, I've got a problem again. Thunder fanging me, but I'm good. I'm good because that psychic's going to be taking out that main trick. Whoop. Well done, meow stick. Nearly every time I do a double, nearly every time you do a double battle with Caelan, that meow stick goes down so fast. But today, he was fine. No way. Wow, we are lame. Probability is probability. After all, absolutes do not exist. <laughs> yeah, I was absolutely always going to beat you. I got 22,000 poker dollars for beating you. Oh my goodness. So lame. What a shame. We got beat. Enough already. We've already stolen the poker balls, great balls and ultra balls. Let's call it good and leave. Okay, see ya. Oh, you saved us. Thank you so much. You're astounding Pokemon trainers for being so young. Very well then, I want to show my appreciation. I'll give you a Master Ball or a Big Nugget, which would you prefer? Go ahead, you pick first. Uh, I would like the Master Ball, please. Here you go! Thanks, cheers. Cheers, big ears. And there's a bonus! You can have the one you didn't pick as well. What? Why? Why don't you just say, here you go, have a Master Ball and a Big Nugget. Both of you for being so cool. I don't know. And for you too, of course. Oh, thanks. I just have a feeling you two will put them to great use. You're different from those Team Flare people. Oh, and even I don't know the proper way to use a big nugget. Still, that blasted Team Flare. What were they planning to accomplish by taking all the Pokeballs from themselves? Who knows? Something evil, no doubt. No doubt. Okay, cool. So that's excellent. We can get the heck out of here right now and um, yeah, meet up with the guys. 
Hey, do you think it's okay to go and have a look around now? Yeah, I think it's fine, Shauna. Um, me and Caleb took care of uh, Team Flair. Oh, apparently not. I'm afraid not. It's not the time for that now. They still have to clean up after Team Flair. Oh, we're always thinking about, you know, stuff. Team Flair? I've heard that name somewhere. Mm, would they be the people in the red suits from a minute ago? Right, Team Flair. They took all the Pokeballs by force, but they're for everybody to use. How awful. It seems like it would be best not to get involved with those guys. True. You're right, Trevs. Team Flair sure is terrible. What should we do now? According to the town map, Dendermill Town is next. Well, I guess we're off to Dendermill then. Beck, you and Caleb are really awesome. You're way stronger than those bad guys. Still, try not to do anything crazy, okay? See ya! Yeah, see ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! Thanks. Everyone's okay, thanks to you. But if I keep relying on you like this, I won't grow during my journey. Okay. Is that it? Just staring each other out now, so I'm just gonna... Um, yeah, yawn and sneak out. Cool beans, guys. So that is the end of this episode, I reckon. Oh, no, we have a whole clip. Hold the phone. It's a announcement. We're bringing you this special bulletin. The Pokeball factory in the area around Laver City has been attacked. Hey, this is old news, mate. This is old news. The identities of those involved are unknown. However, this is not expected to have any effect on the sales of Pokeballs. So don't go and loot the Pokemarts right now. You're all, you're all good. Okay, so guys, that's the end of my episode. I'm going to head back to the Pokemon Centre. And uh, yeah, so if you have enjoyed the video, please go ahead, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. You can get updates as to when my videos are going up. And also we can do all the chatting in the comments section. Um... Also, if you know anybody that enjoys watching Pokemon Let's Plays and you think that they would get a kick out of watching my videos, then go ahead and share the video, spread the word, let's get the uh, subscriber count up, and more importantly, the views up, because at the end of the day, I do this for you guys, and I really enjoy the interaction that I can have with uh, all of my viewers. So, with that in mind, you can also go to Twitter and give me a follow there. And, um, you know, please, you can send me a message. It's absolutely fine, right? That's that's what I'm here for. I'm just a normal person doing, making videos. So I would like to say a big thank you for watching and showing your support. And I will see you very soon for the next episode of the Pokemon Wire Glock. Very, very soon. See you later, guys.